This is my shed, and it's great, but it's got a problem. There's no electricity. So let's fix that. So I've got this nice metal roof that faces west. I can throw a few solar panels on. And I've got a great spot for a battery where I had wired in a 30 amp generator hookup when I built it. Okay, so this is the solar rail kit I got for the solar that's going on the shed. And it's made, it comes from Planet for Solar. I got it on Amazon, I'll put a link. But it's pretty cool. It comes with everything you need to mount your solar panels. The only problem is that it's designed for a comp shingle roof. I have a metal roof, so I ended up getting these different mounting brackets. They're uh, by S5. And again, I'll put a link. And they, the unfortunate part is that they don't mount, or they don't fit together. So you're gonna have to drill out this opening uh, a little bit bigger to fit the bolt that comes with that mount. So, um, anyways, like I said, this thing's pretty cool. It comes with everything, including um, it's got the clips, it's got uh, mid clamps, it's got end clamps, it's got grounding clamps, and it's 14 feet long when you mate two of them together. Um, let's get it up there. So basically, I got the first mount put on. I marked out where I wanted the others and snapped a line to keep it straight and then repeated the process for the top row. This isn't going to be a how to install solar because frankly, I'm the wrong person to be doing that. Anyway, with the mounts on and the rails attached, it'll look something like this. Next, I bonded the rails together with a grounding wire and used this junction box by Easy Solar. It's got a DIN rail, so the wiring was clean and easy. And then I sent the wiring down to a DC isolator. And now for the fun part. Here are the solar panels I went with. The 200 watt bifacial from Bujar V. Uh, highly rated. The price was right. They look really well made. and. They're the smaller form factor, which is what I need to fit on this shed. Um, you can see three fit up there, great. I've got enough space for a fourth one if I decide to go that route. And yeah, this is it. Not much to it. Uh, a few clamps to hold them down. And then uh, those wire clips. I used some zip ties. You can see uh, kept it nice and clean underneath. No wires are hanging down below. So time to test it, and there it is, 63.6 volts coming out of it. Um, let me go turn off the isolator just to make sure I wired that correctly. And yeah, basically zero. Now I just need to wait for my solar power station to arrive that I ordered a month and a half ago. Until then, I get to clean up my mess and figure out where I'm gonna mount this thing. Anyways, let me know what you think and what I missed, what I could have improved, and when that battery shows up, I will make another video.